we have already added our outcomes. And so what we're going to do now is enter grades or number values for those. And the way we're going to do that, there's a rubric right down here. So we're going to look at the rubric. Uh, this is for uh, all of my outcomes fall under the problem solving skills. And again, I have the uh, my CCOG over here on the right half of the screen and all of them fall under problem solving skills. Uh, so I'll be using this rubric here. Uh, you may be using a different rubric, so just become familiar with yours. And I'm going to move this over to the right side. All right, so we need to, uh, there's several ways to do this. You basically, however you like to enter grades, you can enter grades, you can enter ratings for outcomes the same way. So I'm going to click on the grade book and scroll to the right. You need to have editing on or else you can't change anything in a grade book. So normally you can type numbers in for grades. For outcomes, there's only four numerical values you can choose. Uh, if you notice the order was kind of the opposite order right here, you could reorder those uh, if you want to. I'll show you how to do that later. But you're gonna go down and pick how each student, you see the student's name, each student did on the outcomes. Uh, you should not be using no outcome, except let's say that CLO4 I clicked on by accident, you would leave it as no outcome while you gave all the other outcomes ratings. And you have to, every outcome you have that's valid needs a number attached to it. Hopefully you have a better way of assigning these than just randomly. You're gonna use that rubric over here on the right to do this. Uh, let's see, I think I got all the, everything in it. Again, CLO4, if I clicked on it by mistake, you would just list no outcome. All right, save changes. Now we'll take you right back to the grader report. Uh, if you really want to change the order, you can go gradebook setup. And all you need to do is take CLO1 and click here, and you can put it at the top of all the uh, outcomes. I'm not gonna reorder all of these, but now you see CLO1 at the top there. I'm gonna click CLO2, drop that under CLO1, et cetera, et cetera. You can put them in whatever order you want. And of course, as you're rating them, you probably need to have your CCOG handy so you know what outcome number corresponds. So CLO1 is this first right here, recognize basic properties of a function defined by a table, an equation, or a graph. I'll hit save changes. All right, 